Hi everyone, uh, this is a donor experience review for Homeboy Industries. Um, let me just start off by saying, um, as far as kind of looking at the overall donor experience of what I see um, as a donor uh, and kind of looking through the eyes of a donor, the site is outstanding. Um, really, there's you know very little that I can go into that I think could be Im improved. Um, granted, there's always room for improvement, uh, but this site, I mean, it really, it really is a case study in doing basically everything right. Uh, so the majority of this review is actually just gonna kind of be celebrating all the ways this site is just doing a fantastic job of communicating what it's doing, why it's doing it, um, and hopefully the critiques will be, you know, kind of icing on the cake of, you know, really, you know, any critiques that I get into here are kind of really the last 10%, uh, which is always the hardest, uh, but it, they're, you know, things you can do when you've kind of done everything, when you've done the basics and you've even done kind of a level beyond the basics, which the site is, has, this is going to get into kind of more uh kind of advanced territory but you know in a word the site is awesome um and so which you would sort of expect with a nonprofit this size quite frankly i mean according to guidestar they've got 16 million dollars a year in receipts um they've got the budget to pull off uh, amazing things but really more importantly they have the the vision and the will to pull off amazing things and that this site is amazing so let me just go ahead and dive in here uh looking at the home page itself awesome uh really really nicely summarized succinct all sorts of invitations to explore further uh to kind of look a little bit deeper into what they do uh different ways to support them either shopping through their store uh or donating outright um and we'll get into all this a little bit deeper in just a second here. I thought the video here was fantastic. Uh, obviously puts a human face, puts, put, in fact, puts a couple of human faces on what they do and the impact they create. Awesome. Uh, the information is presented a whole bunch of ways. It's summarized, it's statistics, it's infographics, it's video, it's stories, it's photography. Uh, you know, everything is really converging to tell a very compelling, very cohesive story, uh, which is absolutely awesome. And that this is something we work with clients a lot on is really getting down. And this is really hard, really getting down to the nucleus of what you actually do and the change you actually create in the world and clearly communicating that um, and clearly meaning in as kind of few words as possible and using all of the visual elements on the page to combine to tell that story that is that's hard um and they are doing a hard thing very very well you know opportunities to you know see behind the organization uh sign up for their newsletter um awesome uh you know and the main thing their stories do which i think is about the most important thing you can do is it puts a human face on the deltas created by the organization, on the change created, that as a donor, um, and I think this is fairly universal, the main thing I'm concerned with is change. Um, and beyond that, I want to find organizations that not only create a meaningful change in the world, but organizations that seem to transmute donations into meaningful change. Um, I want to see that framework. I want to see the links in that chain from my donation to the change in the world and then also from the organization itself to what it's doing. Um, that in my mind a lot of the donation experience really centers around the pretty simple idea that people are motivated by and want to get involved with things that are bigger than themselves um, and that when they understand how their participation in this thing makes a difference and how their participation directly uh, reinforces the mission of the organization then also how the organization needs the involvement 
of donors, when you weave all of that together cohesively, I think that makes a very, very compelling experience. It makes something that you want to be a part of, of where you sense something bigger than you. You sense an organization that needs your help and you sense an organization or you sense an ability to actually see how your help actually helps. Um, you can see beyond the in, the donation through to the impact. Um, and if you can paint that picture for me, uh, the donation experience is not necessarily a no-brainer, but it is absolutely lubricated. Uh, it is, you know, that's really the friction in the transaction is wondering, you know, are these people doing good? Uh, will my donation be used effectively? And is this the best use of my donation energy? Um, that, you know, there are you know, hundreds of thousands of potential organizations I could give to. Why this one? Um, and, you know, if I've already picked this one, why is this a good choice? How can the communication reinforce that choice as a good one? And I think those are all important things. I think the site is doing that extremely, extremely well. So, okay, so we've talked about the initial presentation of the homepage, very succinct. Um, you know, you're not burying people in words. You're not forcing people to read or make any kind of investment before you're giving back. You're giving back immediately. Um, and you're offering a lot of content that is very accessible and very, and very easy and kind of low investment to explore and discover. And I think that's great. Uh, you've got your donate button very very prominent and there's a little bit of animation that surrounds it so if I actually click the donate button this takes me to the d donate form great um, as far as the donate form itself goes now this isn't the only organization to use this framework but this framework is outstanding uh, it's made by a company called classy um, awesome um, in that you're doing all the right things. You're putting the donation first, that when I am on this page and I'm clicking this donate button, my intent is to donate. And so by having the actual donation up front colored, it's the only color element on the entire page, so it's very prominent, putting this in front of me is paying that off. It's sort of like when someone asks you for something, give them a direct answer. Uh, when someone asks you, may I give you money, the answer is yes, please. And this is a yes, please. You're not burying them in text. You're not hiding this at the bottom. You are paying off that intent. My intent is to give you money and you're making and you're putting it front and center and allowing me to actually pay that off. And I love the ability to kind of interact with buttons, uh, but at the same time, see what the buttons actually do. Um, and I'll critique this form a little bit in a minute, but just outstanding. Uh, very, very, very good. Um, and the option to make it a one-time or monthly, great, and that you're not opting into monthly automatically. I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, sometimes that can be a bit of a nudge uh, for someone to uh, commit a little bit more, to, a little more deeply than they initially imagined, or it can be looked at as a bit heavy-handed. Um, and I like the light touch of the one time as the default option. So I think that's that's great. And then collecting all the usual information and the payment information all in one screen. Awesome. Again, Classy is a fantastic uh, platform. Uh, so it it is doing things very very well. Okay, um, so there's a, another item on the site here that I think is just absolutely incredible. And unfortunately, it's buried a bit. Um, it's these transformation stories. Reading through, you know, even one of these, if not multiple, and look how many they have. Um, incredible. Um, and that this is exactly what I was talking about a minute ago. This is showing the delta. This is showing the change created in the world by this organization. It's putting a human face on it. It's making it real. It's making it understandable and appreciable. Awesome. Uh, my only complaint is that these are buried on a sub page. Uh, if it were me, I would have these on the home page and I have these be largely video um, and that uh, be able to create a video library of, to, to explore these. But even in text form, these are awesome. Um, and again, the only critique that I have is that these should be surfaced. 
um, that I shouldn't I discover these almost by accident um, and that shouldn't be the case these are very powerful and so I would I would get these up higher um, okay so let's talk a bit about the donation form because that's obviously where the rubber meets the road uh, again I've I've already talked about how good I think this is um, having said that well actually let me show you something first. So if we think about the donation experience on mobile, um, which is becoming more and more of an opportunity these days, um, especially when it comes to things like events, um, if you have people on site or in person, mobile giving obviously is way easier than giving on a laptop or something. Um, so optimizing for that to kind of capture those impromptu giving opportunities um, is really powerful. And this form on a mobile screen is pretty good. Um, it's pretty good from the perspective of another thing that these buttons do is they make it touch friendly. Um, so if you, uh, it makes it very, very easy to kind of touch these and select a donation amount rather than using your keyboard or selecting a drop down. Awesome. Really, really smart. Um, and then the way the donation form stacks, great. It doesn't appear to support Apple Pay, or at least it didn't in my kind of initial interaction with it. Um, I, th I personally think Apple Pay is a bit of a is a bit more nascent than other folks do, but obviously this is going to this is going to be more of a thing in the future. So it's just something to think about that when it comes to removing friction from giving, you want to allow people to be able to give how they want to or how they're going to. And if they have a mobile device, mobile payment is huge because it not only you know keeps me from having to fill in all of these form fields, but it also uh, keeps me it, it makes the transaction much faster it again it pays off that intent that if I can say I want to give you something and you allow me to fulfill that in 10 seconds versus two minutes that's better um, that is that 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 is connecting the intent with the fulfillment faster and it's actually a more rewarding experience because it's paying off sooner it's 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 allowing those things to be part of the same experience rather than separated by too much time it's not a deal killer uh, it's not a showstopper it probably doesn't even stop that many donations but it doesn't mean that the experience can't be better by making it simpler and faster in mobile payment will absolutely um, do that. Um, okay, so mobile looks good. Again, could be improved with uh, mobile payments, but again, since this is part of the classy uh, platform, that's not really up to them. Um, that is more <laughs> for classy to implement. So um, if you're looking for classy specific, specifically, it's just classy dot org um, and they in, a, in addition to donation forms they also do events so something like an eventbrite but you can host it yourself um, and that they they do a few other uh, features and functions too and the the pricing seems to be extremely reasonable that one of the things I like about this donation form is it allows me to cover the costs. Uh, so I actually did a donation um, and I went ahead and selected this. And so if we're looking at a hundred dollar donation and I collect this, click this box, it just adds two dollars to the amount. So it says, oh, well, I guess they're collecting two percent on every transaction. So not only is this um, is this experience very very streamlined and very very good but it's only costing me two percent of the gross and it's allowing people to cover that which i imagine a lot of folks do um so that's just kind of win 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 uh really really good uh so very very reasonable very very good um with the and in addition as far as a platform this seems to integrate with everything from salesforce to all sorts of different platforms so anyway classy it seems very very good okay so and then once the donation is complete um the this pops up on the screen and it gives you you know opportunities to stay involved 
further. Um, one thing I would have liked to have seen here is some kind of a newsletter uh, that, you know, social media is nice, but um, I think newsletters still in this day and age have a unique opportunity uh, to tell a different story and to do it in a, in a longer form um, rather than just kind of in uh, bite-sized chunks. I think you can kind of serve up more of a whole meal of a story um, in the, this way. But, you know, very, very small critique there. And obviously with social media, um, you have things covered. The receipt is very clear. I know what's going to happen. Um, and, and so that's very good. And the email that I get from them basically says the exact same thing. So as far as a post-donation experience, um, that's what this actually um, looks like. So again, very, very good. Uh, perhaps there's some room for improvement uh, as far as additional storytelling that what would be really nice is a newsletter that actually shows donations in action um, for specific amounts even. Um, and so that would be incredible. And then also, as far as the donation form itself, what would be really nice is if there was some kind of ability to see what these amounts actually do. Again, connecting those dots with real change. I know that $100 is $100, but what does $100 mean specifically? So let me show you this other donate form here, uh, which has kind of a similar sort of layout um, and allows me to kind of select uh, the donation amount. Again, it's not button, so it's not quite as friendly on mobile, but it tells me what it's actually, what it could actually do. Um, and so, again, when you connect those dots of, you know, donation to actual change, I think that's not only a very powerful motivator, but more importantly, uh, it makes the experience better. It makes it more real. Um, and it gives me something concrete that I can know happened because of me and because of you. Um, that because you exist, this happened. And because I, I, I gave you this, um, this, this amount of funding, this small subset of what you're doing happened. Um, so it's connecting those dots of causality. Um, of I'm, I'm actually being able to kind of, kind of, with foresight, see the causation of what my donation actually does and how it translates into actual change in the world. So, and this is another uh, platform called DonorBox, um, which is very, very good as well. Um, so, I'm a fan of both of these. Uh, I don't think you can really go wrong with either one, but they do things slightly differently. The nice thing about DonorBox is it integrates with WordPress. Uh, the way that Homeboy and, and, and other organizations have to use uh, have to use Classy is that it's actually a separate site. Um, so you'll notice when we click from here to here, the icon up at the top changes to the one used by Classy. And then the logo link up at the top um, just links back to this form, so it's a bit of a sandbox when people click into um, click into this form, they can't really get back to the site. Um, I have mixed feelings about that. Sometimes it's nice to kind of allow people to click into your form, check it out, jump back to your site, and then come back and give. Um, that's easy enough through the tabs, but it would it this is still kind of an island. Um, and I, I kind of wonder if the experience might be a little bit better to integrate this into the site more. Again, that would probably mean using something other than Classy as a platform or at the very least having a more robust integration into the website itself. But as far as kind of turnkey, um, just kind of sign up and go, uh, this works great. And again, that's, that's a very minor critique there. Um, and then after I hit the donation button, and I wonder if this is kind of a, a holdover from the old days, it, it animates. So it obviously dropped down this entire orange panel and it kind of tells me, you know, a bit of a kind of a macro story. But I don't see this until I've actually given and I given and I click back. So again, this has to launch this separate tab because it's not 
integrated with the website itself but if you were to integrate it you could integrate things like this into the experience um, so anyhow um, that's just something to think about but a very minor critique there uh, okay and then also uh, as far as minor critiques go uh, and this happens all the time it can be easy to get behind an experience and what I mean by that is that if there if you have one way of doing things and then you upgrade it can be difficult to capture all the ways that you are doing that function in order to make sure the upgrade is universal and global and what I mean is that if you have like a main site and sub sites and you change the functionality on the main site you can forget to do it on this on the subsites so they don't get to take advantage of the upgrade so let me show you specifically what I'm talking about so just kind of exploring around here if I go into the shop and I look at these like let's say corporate gifts um, this obviously takes me to a different site this takes me to homeboy foods instead of the main homeboy industry sites so now I'm on a subsite the design is different um, obviously this is a different site but this has a donate button too so if I click the donate button now this is totally different um, and this looks like kind of extension of their shopping cart and frankly it's not as good um, and it's not as good in a bunch of different ways I wonder if it or I think it would be better to integrate the donation experience here on the subsites too that um, the nice thing about this donation experience is how fluid and easy it is and the fact that it's not integrated in the site means you can snap it on anywhere you can link to it from anywhere and creating different donation experiences across you know even though they're different sites to me they're the same um, and creating different donation experiences is just a bit jarring and it's just something where you know it's nice to you know not only spend the time to craft an exceptional experience but to spend the time to make that experience universal to make it to have only one donation experience instead of having several instead of having some places where you're linking to PayPal some places where you have your own form sometimes we're using a third party just pick one and make it the same everywhere um, so again if I'm kind of exploring around and I happen to click on that link as my last click instead of getting this donate experience I get this one and it's just not as uh, not as good um, so anyhow but again minor uh, and then as far as other things that could be improved um, I don't know this again this site is very very good and so there is you know minor things like okay if we go to the back to the home page here um, and we go down to like let's scroll down to how you can help uh, great um, awesome uh, very visual very few words on this page this is something we lecture clients about all the time when it comes to people giving to you get the words out of the way uh, that you know as soon as someone has made that decision to give to you make it as easy as possible okay so if we go to the donate um, now screen that takes us back to the same donate form that we've seen the problem is that does not open in a new tab um, so now I am on an island and I can't easily get back uh, I mean I can use my back button uh, 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 of course but now kind of I've been exiled into classy land um, and I you know if I click on this I can't go back to the page that I was on and again a lot of times people kind of like to explore your donate form first before they give to you so giving them you know easy in and out uh, access you know can be nice so if I hit the back button I can get back to uh, where I was going so that's thing one uh, thing two in this donate later screen this is great um, this is kind of telling me all the ways I can get involved and kind of plant some seeds uh, for the future um, which I love by the way <laughs> I love the image of the plant from that from the young plant from that perspective brilliant 
because uh, that's exactly what it's doing. It's planting seeds for future growth. Now I see this big donate now heading, which kind of looks button-esque, uh, but if I click on it, nothing happens. Um, so minor change, but I would make that actually do something. Anytime I use the words donate now in a heading font that looked button-ish, I would make it a button. Okay, and then so the donate now, um, I believe goes back to that form. Um, yes, but again, black hole. So I can't get back. So that does not open in a new tab either. Um, and then all the other giving options are very, very clear. But as far as improvement goes, um, again, these are kind of last 10% sort of issues. But overall, again, this site is outstanding. This, this organization appears to be doing incredible work. Um, you know, I have nothing but positive things to say about it. Um, but even though they, even though they are doing things so incredibly well, um, yeah, there are a few minor things they can uh, they can fix to do things better because that's always the case. Uh, but anyhow, as an overhaul site, overall site review, uh, great. Um, you know, if I was giving this, you know, out of five stars, I would probably give this four and three quarters. Uh, so this is very, very good in that as an organization, um, this is what you really strive for. You really strive for to, to, to nail 90% of what you possibly can, and then you can drive yourself crazy for the rest of your life chasing the last 10. Uh, but anyway, as kind of an overall site and donation experience, exceptional. Um, and really with those few changes and tweaks, I, I really can't say anything else about it other than they're doing a very, very good job.